Hi, I'm Howard Kramer, Curatorial Director at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Museum, and I'm standing in the museum's Grateful Dead exhibit, The Long Strange Trip. Behind me is Donna Jean Godshaw's dress that she wore when the Grateful Dead performed at the Great Pyramids of Giza, Egypt, in September of 1978. While the Grateful Dead were in Egypt, they took the time to explore the sites, and Donna Jean Godshaw went to a bazaar in Cairo and bought a number of clothes, including this dress that she wore at one of the shows at Giza, and a second one that she wore when the band played the closing of the Winterland later that same year. The idea was Phil Lesh's. In fact, no rock band had ever performed in Egypt before, but Lesh had this real idea that energy and places with energy were places that the band should perform, and no place had greater energy on Earth, in Phil's estimation, than the pyramids of Egypt. It took some time and a lot of wrangling and diplomatic maneuvering, but the Grateful Dead finally secured agreement from the Egyptian Department of Antiquities to allow the band to set up and perform. They did three shows, September 14th, 15th, and 16th of 1978. Recording all three shows, but only two survived due to technical difficulties. On the night of the last show, there was a full lunar eclipse, which really kind of accented the whole image and energy that the Grateful Dead were trying to capture with that show. Like many Grateful Dead concerts, this one was commemorated with a poster designed by the great artist Kelly. Utilizing images from Egyptian mythology, Kelly created this beautiful poster that included two spots for text explaining the concert, one in Arabic and one in English. Yeah, she